guys welcome back just thought I'd show you this morning my two little visitors that come every morning and every evening for their favorite treat their sunflower seeds these two sulfur crested cockatoos be nice guys share you've got plenty they're a bit spooked because of the camera is <laughs> showing off hello do you know what the camera is it's all right it won't hurt you there you go you have your breakfast if I ignore them they walk around on the deck outside my window screeching or they sit up on my furniture they have a bit of a screech and say come on hurry up we're hungry it's all right I won't hurt you yes you keep eating so that's them a lot of people are quite interested to see what makes all that racket when I'm doing my videos these are two of the culprits. They're really friendly. Obviously you can't touch them, but um, yeah, they're very friendly, happy birds. Come and go as they please in the wild here. I'm on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. More birds in the background. We get a lot of birds here. Meat eaters and seed eaters whole variety but at the moment just these two guys radio let's get back to pouring g'day guys welcome back I'm gonna play with some swipes today I've got some nice bright colors I've got some warm yellow and some pale turquoise it's called peacock and then I've got my red and my blue and some white. Radio. Uh, now, one of the ladies on our Australian acrylic pouring group, Jilly, she did a swipe with red. And I thought, wow, I've never swiped with red. I've swiped with white, I've swiped with black, I've swiped with navy. And metallics but never red so I thought I'll give it a go I really liked what she did so let's give it a go um, so I've just got glue and, and uh, water in my mix here I've made it a tinch thicker than what I have been using for my other swipes you will have seen my other swipes no doubt so I've just made it a little bit thicker and for cells my usual treadmill silicone I'm going to put two drops in each but none in the swipe color oops that was two and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm expecting smaller cells. If your mix is thicker, then you get smaller cells. So that's kind of the look I'm after. You know when I usually do my swipes and you get those tiny little bubbles up the top? If there's black across the top and then I swipe and I get all those little tiny little bubbles across the top? don't really want those today I want more like normal cell type things so I don't know just have a play around see if thickening up will will help um, right I'm gonna swipe from the middle out um, as I tend to do my reflection swipes so I'm just going to layer the paint forgot to turn my notifications off again so sorry I've got too much paint here actually I've got 100 grams in each which is 400 grams I probably don't need it all well, I won't use all that blue because as I said I probably don't need all that paint actually it's probably a bit much throw some white in here as well not too much because you know red and white make pink so don't necessarily want a pink swipe all right let's just get this paint moving I like to move it move it as we go Oh, 
over to the corner, spread it all the way around so that everything's covered. I might need a little bit more blue there, I think. Kind of lost it. I did put just a splash of extra water in with my red just to thin it. Hopefully just a little, little bit more than what my other paints are. So I just need to get down here and cover this. I don't want to leave too much paint on the surface, so I put it on and then I tilt it off. Not tilt the whole card off though. I'm thinking I've got too much white because I don't want um, too much pink in it. Oh well, done now. Uh, maybe I can put a little bit more. Oh no, I finished my turquoise. What else can I use? That's all right. Uh, it's just to check the um, consistency, really. So it'll be all right. Okay. So, paint's flowing quite well. It's not flowing really thick, which is good. I don't want it to flow really quick quickly. Um, otherwise, I know it's too thin. Righto, because I'm swiping from the middle out, we'll just put a little bit of the red through the centre. Red centre. It's like the Australian outback, isn't it? And a little bit through there as well, because as you start swiping, the red covers that, and then by the time you get down here, red's almost gone, so put a little bit of extra red on. And... Hopefully we'll get enough red coverage down to the bottom as well. We'll see what happens, eh? All right, let's do this. So I'm going to place my little plastic halfway in the red on this side and then I'll use the other half to go the other way. So just touch the red. You don't want to touch your other colours at this stage. You just want the red to be dragged over the top of the other colours. Like so. I'll wipe that off. Now I'm just going to get a little card to do my edges. I forgot to get one ready, but it's here. little paint chip card. And I can just run that down the edge there. So there's not as much red down here as I was hoping for. Just kind of hoping it might be a little bit redder, but we'll see what happens. Still covered in red, which is good. Right, now I'm going to turn around. And then swipe the other way. Just going to give my little sheet here, my plastic sheet a wipe. Got a damp cloth here so I can just wipe it easily. That's the good thing about using these plastic sheets. I know a lot of people use paper towel and I just prefer the weight of the plastic. You can handle it easier, You've got control over where it sits and then you can just wipe it as well when it's done. Okay, back into the red. Make sure you've got good contact and off you go. Take it straight over there and put it onto my piece of paper towel that's waiting, waiting patiently. Okay, how's that looking? Move my cups out of the way. Wipe my bench a little bit. I like to be tidy. I've got some spilt paint there. Just waiting for the cells to come up and do what they want to do. Now, for this pour, it's only a little card, it's just a 30 by 40, so I'm just going to use my little guy. And instead of my usual overall high heat, I'm just going to aim the torch in different sections to get little colonies up. You would have seen me do that on my flip cup pours. Oh, this has run out again. I've only just filled it. I don't know what its problem is. All right, I'm going to put some more butane in it. I only just did it and I tested it and it was fine. It mustn't be working properly. I don't know why. 
This goes in the bottom here like so. Maybe it's clogged. Because it works for like two seconds and then it stops working. So I'll try it again. I'm still getting lots of little bubbles up that I'm not real happy with. I didn't want those little bubbles. I was hoping for more proper cells. So I don't know. I don't know why. I'll just have to, I'll have to keep experimenting with it. All right, let's see if I can get this. A few little areas like this, little colonies I want to come up. Which is the exact opposite to what I'm looking for when I'm doing my flip cups. <laughs> see, it's run out already. Bizarre. Okay, so let's just wait and see what happens with those. So these are the little bubbly ones that I don't want. I want to be able to torch and get proper cells coming up. So I'm just not quite sure how not to get my little bubbles up. More experimentation is needed. Well, while those cells are popping up, I'm going to pop some more butane in here because it's still not doing its thing. I wonder if it's clogged. I might have to try and pop something in the end of that. Let's see why it's not working. It's just not behaving itself. So I've got some little colonies popping up, which is what I wanted, but they're not very big. I was kind of hoping the cells would have been better. A bigger. All right, let's have another go. from a little colony maybe if I go round and round and not so close if it's dying again come on torch you can do it no he says no I can't come on you can do it I don't know what its problem is I obviously can't handle tools <laughs> oh dear Oh well, I'll have to keep experimenting. Um, you know when Jilly does this, she gets nice big cells. I, I don't know why. I've asked for ratios, but um, I don't know. She just kind of mixes as she goes, whereas I weigh everything so that I can share with you guys, you know, how to do it. So. I will keep persisting. I'm sure I'll work it out eventually. And then I can share it with you guys too. Let's pop some more in here. It's not really holding its butane, is it? I'm struggling. Struggling with this paw. Okay. Um, last little, I'll try this one more time with the butane. One more time. Come on, you can do it. So I have got some pretty cells popping up. Don't get me wrong, they're very pretty. They're just not quite what I was looking for. I was after some bigger cells. Over here in this corner. Probably need to just use my big torch. This one's obviously got issues. Right, let's put him away. I've got enough of him. Okay, so I have got a little glove that I've blown up. Um, and you would have seen me do my little balloon dips on in previous uh, videos. But um, this was Jilly's idea to do my balloon dips onto swipes. So let's give it a go. I know she waits maybe an hour before, you know, until this is dried a little bit, but I don't have an hour to wait, so let's just try it and see what happens. I may have way too much paint on the surface. It looks as if I may be the case. I'm just going to wipe this down to my bit of paper towel that I've got here. 
because I don't want to smudge my colours too much. See there's quite a lot of paint there, um, so it's not really working as well as it should because I've got so much paint on my surface. So just down very gently and then back up. And I'm just going to mainly do it across the centre here. I may do a couple more, but mainly just in the centre, just to break up all that red. So, if you're watching Jilly, I'm having a go. <laughs> Not as good as yours, but um, I will persist. I did ask her to come and do a video for us to show us how she does it. She's a busy lady. So I will just have to keep trying. There we go, little balloon kisses or balloon dips. Minor dips. Those are kisses. And I only used a quite a small balloon, I guess, well small glove because it's only a small surface. Um, obviously if you're using a bigger surface you want um, bigger little balloon flowers there that you get from your dipping. I think that's enough. I don't really want to do any down here. I've got some cells, I've got some little bubbles. I didn't want the bubbles, but I've got the bubbles. Um, yeah, so not quite sure. I'll, I'll keep trying. I'll wipe off my balloon, take you in for a little close up. But uh, as far as tries go it's not too bad for a first try I guess I will continue I'm just going to fix up this because there's a little bit of a like a, a line there and I don't really want that straight line so it's where the plastic met the other plastic so just do that and disguise it a little bit eh no one will know <laughs> except you guys there we go covered it over okay here we go our first try um i'm just going to zoom you in it's not worth taking you down and showing you it's not that not that good i'm trying to move it into the center a bit so i can zoom better Whoops, moving you around a lot, sorry. Okay, I think that's about as close as I can get you. Oh, I know, I'm a perfectionist, aren't I? I can't help it. There we go. That will do. Um, yeah, so it's okay. Not exactly what I wanted. I wanted, as I said, I wanted those bigger cells. Um, I've tried doing swipes with thinner paint, but I just get more bubbles. So, and I don't really want the bubbles. So, um, maybe a thicker swipe color might help. I thinned my swipe color on this one, so maybe keep it a bit thicker and see how that goes. Maybe that's maybe that would help. So anyway, I'll have another go at it. I'll keep practicing and uh, I'll show you the results and uh, we can learn together. All right. See you for the next one. Bye for now.